watching brazen retail theft. The suspects are so sure they won't get caught that some even get aggressive when stopped, as this surveillance video from Home Depot shows. Most likely, these people aren't shoplifters or people who steal items for their own use. Instead, it's a bigger problem known as organized retail crime, with criminals working together to steal for profit. Home Depot's Jamie Bourne investigates the theft. It all starts with boosters. A booster is somebody that is basically a professional shoplifter. They're doing it for profit, not just for personal use. Are they just guessing what items are in demand? Do they know it from history? I know that I can sell a lot of drills. There are many locations out there that are giving lists to the boosters. If they're giving lists, they're part of the crime too, are they not? Absolutely. One of those locations was this pawn shop. The manager was charged with selling stolen property. The case is ongoing. Our next stop, this raid. Police, search warrant! Bourne and his team helped when law enforcement served a search warrant on this Utah home. When we do search warrants with law enforcement, we can provide them the value of the merchandise. The suspect allegedly sold stolen power drills and other tools on Facebook. He was arrested. Law enforcement seized a pallet full of items from the home. They were brought to this warehouse. It may look like Home Depot, but this is actually an evidence room. Inside is over $1 million worth of stolen product seized from a raid of seven pawn shops. We'll actually see on the inside of a pawn shop, they'll say Lowe's and Home Depot's price, you know, $129.99. Our price, $79.99. Chris Walden is a special agent with the Utah Attorney General's office. How is it that some of these secondhand merchants are selling it for less than what a big box retailer like Home Depot or Lowe's can even buy that product for? They found the answer in these sting operations. Trying to do, sell them, pawn them? Yeah, sell them. This is undercover video of law enforcement selling items that seem stolen to those pawn shops. The case led to a new Utah law that makes it harder for pawn shops to buy unopened product. Since we passed the new law, it seems like it's getting a little bit better. What we've seen is a shift over to e-commerce. Just like the power tools we saw confiscated during the raid. Here they were for sale on Facebook. Organized retail crime is growing and costs the industry nearly $800,000 per every billion in sales. Home Depot said its profit took a hit in the last three quarters because of higher shrink or loss of goods, which includes organized retail crime. While we don't comment on our particular numbers, we are seeing shrinkage rates rise across the country. Scott Glenn is in charge of asset protection for Home Depot. Organized retail crime drives other crimes. It drives drugs, it drives guns, it drives human trafficking. I think the opioid and drug epidemic is a piece of it. Why should consumers care that this is happening? Isn't Home Depot big enough to absorb this issue? We have been very good about not raising prices as a result of our shrink equation, but if it gets to a point where we cannot continue to do business this way, ultimately we will have to pass it along. 